Measurements and annotations are fairly straightforward on the system here. I'm going to unfreeze that image. Uh, we'll just get a quick shot. I'm going to freeze. See, I want to just scroll back and get that. So I'm uh, just going to click the measurement here. And I have vascular and folders. So uh, this is just basically very straightforward vascular. And the folders, I can choose under vascular, carotid, lower extremity artery, all these different things here. But I'm going to go ahead and select carotid. See, I just want to do the IMT. Um, here's IMT post, right side. And then I'm just going to go ahead and move that trackball. Click set or double click there and double click again, double click again. And it did the auto IMT for me already. And go ahead and clear those and then get rid of the get out of the measurements. You're going to click that again. Uh, now to take measurements uh, in PW Doppler, just to show you how the Doppler modes work. There's a, there's a whole video on using Doppler, but right now we'll just show you how the calcs work. You can go ahead and hit PW, and freeze, click measure, oh, it automatically went there. And uh, we just do CCA. There's a little circle here showing you that there's more behind it. So uh, previously, when we were looking through these uh, menus. First, you've got some like auto trace things, but you can slide up and down like you can click left or right. But whenever there's this circle here, it means there's something underneath it. We have a folder saying you can go back to these different folders. I chose carotid. Uh, I'm going to choose CCA and now something else pops up. I have my peak systolic and diastolic, uh, whether you want that uh, to be done in a frozen image there, like uh, auto calculation um, or an auto trace to go live with the image. So if I do um, off, it's going to take that auto trace measurement completely gone. I don't know if you saw the two markers down there, but that turns one on. Uh, give it a shot. See if you like that or not. But this is how you would take those measurements. You know, you can hit your peak systolic and go ahead and take your measurements, either tap or hit set. And then you've got your measurements there. For annotations, the it, there's uh, quite a library because um, you know tapping on a touchscreen keyboard isn't a whole lot of fun for anybody. <clears throat> so uh, let's say we want to annotate this. Uh, you just can hit these A's here, and you can start typing in. It's got automatic libraries here, so if I go to right here and click it, and you'll see as I go through each time I tap it it can change because it's got that circle saying there's multiple things underneath there. And you'll see over here, I've got my text and you can click and drag around. You can delete it with the X or check mark to make it go. And you can always click on that again to move it around. But when it's yellow, that means it'll save and you can hit store and save that to there. But you can scroll through this library and this is a customizable library. Um, where when we get to the setup, you'll see where you can type in your own and rearrange all these so you can avoid having to go through um, the pain of going to your keyboard and having to type out your annotations. This is a much easier way to go about it if you take the time to make that uh, the way you'd like it. And next, we will get into color and Doppler imaging modes.